In this short video, I'd like to explain how you can load an eSIM test profile onto a commercial off-the-shelf consumer device. This is required when you want to run tests with an eSIM device, which needs an eSIM profile with specific test configurations. Or if you want to validate a profile that you or one of your suppliers created on a commercial device. What you need to know is that the eSIM of a commercial device complies to the security level defined by the mobile industry as GSMA SAS. This implies that the device can only download a profile from a service which complies with the same security level. Test tools in a test environment have no chance to meet this. That's why a specific service is required. There are other solutions for such scenarios. We'll explain them elsewhere. Let's see how to load a test profile onto a commercial device utilizing our eSIM test profile service. As a user of the service, I have access to a set of profiles in a self-service portal, which you see here on the screen. At the moment, my account contains different test profiles of different types. You see profiles from the GSMA, TS48, you see component profiles, you see also profiles of our partners Rode and & Schwarz and Anritsu for example. In addition, I could provision any other profile into the self-service portal, which I created with another tool, for example. I select one of the profiles from the list by just clicking on it, the one which I want to load to my test device. Let's use this one, for example. This brings us to a web page with more details regarding the profile, like the ICCID, the IMC or the status saying that it is available means it's not yet downloaded to any other device. To bring the profile into status from which I can download it, I press the order button on the upper right hand side here and I confirm and the profile switches to the release status. As you probably know, the easiest way to download an eSIM profile to a device is based on a QR code which you scan with your device. I have a small QR code icon at the top here which I can press and then I see the QR code of this profile. To show you how to download the profile to the device and what happens on the device, we have mirrored our device screen of a test device, a commercial off-the-shelf iPhone here. Now let's go into the settings menu of this phone, go to the mobile data section and add a data plan for this phone. What happens now is the camera comes up and asks me to scan the QR code of the cure of an eSIM profile, which I do right now. Then I need to confirm that I really want to load this data plan, which is related to this QR code. And what you see here is that one profile is going to be activated. In parallel, what I see here on the screen is when I press the refresh button, is that the profile status has been changed to downloaded. And if I wait a little bit longer, on the phone, the profile is still activating. Now it says on, the profile has been activated. And I press the refresh button here on the screen again, and I see the profile is installed. So we are already done. Now I can start testing my device and the eSIM profile. When I finished my test, I delete the profile on the device. Then it will go back into the repository of the service and can be downloaded to a next device. As you can see, it's pretty simple.